Okay folks, it's Beano Black and basically what we have here is we are going to pull the magnifier out on this shot here. But what I'll do real fast is I have a setup looking at the 17th. The one good news is the idea that this thing is rising. So as you look across and you see Earth and Mercury, that either if it go, draws back, which we have seen a rotation like this of something before, okay, a hyperbolic star. This could be where one of the hyperbolic stars, there's quite a few of them that they've been studying of late. Uh, it might actually retract back into the Milky Way galaxy here somewhere, okay? But no matter what, from the 16th, which because basically I got these lined up, that the 16th we've seen it flaring, it made the Saturn flare. I basically am blown up at 999 up by it, okay? So then from the 16th we move to, I think I've got the freshest. This is the freshest we're going to come back zooming in on, okay? But they also did a satellite roll. So then the 17th, we had this here, which I could zoom in on this, but this is what I'm showing you for the idea that, I'm showing you that it's moving up, which is good for us because then the idea that means, because if you look at it right now, everybody would go, well, if it just keeps coming, yeah, and then a tail. So we'll see, and it's not, you know, this is what I'm totally always, the idea we're, we're a rabbit hiding out in the hole. We always have been. That's why we've been here for so damn long. Okay, so from the 18th, I got it blown in at 999, and we got the rotation of it, okay? So basically, because I've zoomed in on the 17th, you can go back to the footage where I first showed you it and so forth, and then I'm basically hammering it home to you that uh, Pan Stars was not a comet. And uh, factual, scientifically and everything. So we got this from the 16th when it started making Saturn bling. Then we got this fresh that we can zoom in and on and we'll get the magnifier out. Okay, because basically we have this object that's rotating, and this is from the 18th, Okay, this is the footage from the 18th. Okay, I never play with you because I just get up there, okay? So, and you're going to be able to see once we go ahead to see the 16th, we had Saturn starting to bling. And then we're going to we're gonna see what's going on. But they did a roll today. On, well, on the 19th, when they did the footage on the 19th, they did a roll. So now I'm going to get the magnifier out. So we get the magnifier and I'll move it up over here by Saturn because we, you know, we still kind of want to see what's going on with Saturn and so forth with it, but we'll get a we'll get a good blow in. We're already at 999 and got it queued in at 999. And then what I'll do is I'll just to make you realize that I'm showing you the actual factual footage is we'll just get a little bit better look at it. And remember like I say, if you pay attention to and I'll just back up the footage to save me video time doing and, and trying to, you know, I just always try to bleed everybody as much factual truth as we can. And we're getting a real good look at it here. We'll get in, and that's what's basically shimmering up there. Now we got to spend some time getting some footage of looking at this. And what I'll do is I'll just drop down that. We'll get down to like 150. We'll get in here and we'll play because basically what we want to do is we want to see what we're seeing all over space out there, okay? Everything's pretty clear here just up by Saturn, right? Okay, and then we're going to roll around. We should be able to see pan stars, which we're going to really know that pan stars is not. And I'll try to hit step, okay? Because basically when we're looking here, either one of these is pan stars. Good possibility that this is pan stars up there. But then you're going to have to try to separate from the sun. And as you see, they're rotating now. Do they not rotate into the sun? Not really. Because there we are. Okay. So as you can factually know, back here to the left, you know that the sun is up back here no matter what. Pan stars in the sun because of IE. And as you can see, that even got... so. They shaded as much as they could to get a good shot. Now this B, what like I was saying before, and I have told people before, that is stereo B on the other side of of the sun. Okay, so they they pop back and they can see Venus and Jupiter, and if you watch your date, it's all the 19th. Okay, so basically what we'll do is we'll just go step, and as you see, time frame. You can read it off because when I and then we get around and as you can see you can still see that you you realize that they rotate the camera okay they rotate the camera the camera rotates 360 degrees around the bezel of the the satellite okay so they can always get a, a good peeky poo or whatever they want and we have tons of satellites so they got tons that can do that 
Okay, so factual as it's coming back around, at this point in time, we pop up at, at the 400 because no matter what, we got something hella bright, and you know it's not the sun. It's basically going to be our same object that we we're seeing from across space, okay? So I'll pop down 125, and then we'll step back again. And as you see, the, the rotation, and then you got to watch your clock and your time. So we'll rotate some more. And remember, see, that limb is always there. The, uh, the basically the solar panel limb, okay? That we call it. At least that's what I'm calling it. So then I can just keep stepping, and you'll see the action that you're getting from that at Saturn. And, and you can watch me tapping down there, and you can also watch the clock. So this thing is moving up above Saturn, okay? And yeah, it's got a lot of luminosity to it. Now, what we know for factual is when you look at JPL, okay, now we're looking across as it did a turn, okay? But it's, as, you, as you know, it's the camera doing the turn and basically this, that will stay there, okay? So as you get away from it, basically, that should still be Saturn right there, okay? That still should really be Saturn right there. Blowing it at, uh, We'll get in at 400%. And if I'm wrong on that, it's no big hairy deal that you can go ahead and figure it all out yourself. But as you can see, that whatever it is, it's hella bright when it gets out from beyond the solar panel. So you actually get to see a magnetic line of it. So and it basically, factually, if you watch Pan Star's trajectory, okay, because this should be Saturn, and we'll pop down in size. And before I do that, we'll go back up and get, because I'm moving it around fast, but that more than likely is Saturn's magnetic line over here. This is Saturn more than likely there, okay? As we come down, I'll come down in size, because you see the date and the time. We'll go back up, and then what we'll do is we'll go back one shot, okay? You see that more than likely that was Saturn. And what it was is they tilted the limb down just enough to get a look at Saturn and also zoomed out okay they zoomed out like i'm zooming in right now they zoomed out on that shot okay so if i hurry up and go down in size they they zoomed out and i'll go back to the shot what they did is they zoomed out so you don't get jupiter you don't get earth and mercury anymore you see they zoomed out but you still get saturn so this is a great shot of looking at the image that we're seeing that they're looking at. So we got something hella bright out there that's doing that. Now if I keep stepping, because basically I'll go in at 400 real fast and you can look at what we're looking at again, because you're not it's not going to help when getting any bigger there, okay? So Saturn and that are up there, and it's not pan stars, because the factual of it, the matter is, pan stars is way over on the other side of the sun, okay? And that's not the sun there, because that's Saturn. And then I'll step forward because we're going to be going just like what they did when they moved it. Okay. So then they move and we get our two planetoid objects that we've seen a lot before in the middle of stereo A before. And you get a good shot of it. Okay. Now as we're coming across, i got to back up for a second to see what we left. Okay. To keep you... And actually I went the wrong way. So i got to hit that. Boom. And then we come back. And then I'll hit one more time. And we're back to when we took when they just started to move okay so as they just start to move we're going to go ahead and go back and go to what we have there so as they're going away you get to see what's so big and bright up at saturn okay because that's up at saturn now as they turn that's how big and bright that doggone thing is now that's not pan stars now there's a slight possibility that if they turn so fast in the clock and so forth like that Maybe they did turn and get an angle to see pan stars, and maybe that, maybe slight possibility that, that could be pan stars. But it really looks to be factually what we have up by Saturn, okay? Because they blow, they turn away from it, as you can see, 1237 is the time. 1217, we're actually going back in time. So basically, see, that was part of the turn. And I, did, I didn't pay attention to which direction I'm going, but that's fine. Now we go back in time a little bit, 11.57. So they went up and looked to see what their, what that's their normal shot, but this is when they were actually, to begin the day, they were actually, at 11.57 on the 19th, they were actually over looking at 
Jupiter and Venus and looking straight across and getting themselves orientated with stereo B. You see they're straight across from each other, they, ident they identify each other, then they pop back across. See they can see out behind the sun. You see this is the sun over here no matter what. This is the sun there and that's the sun there. You see? And then they'll rotate and we'll, we'll keep going in uh, time because we'll go back to 1117. Okay? They're going towards the sun, which the sun is going to have the sun and uh, pan stars because pan stars out behind. So you kind of have to differentiate somehow of knowing where uh, pan stars, and no matter what, this is the image that you're getting up from Saturn and so forth that's back there coming through. That is the solar panel, okay? The solar panel doesn't move. Okay, so on the roll, we go to 1037, or wherever they started the day. 1017, they're over at Saturn and, and their object up by Saturn. And at 1017, we step and we go to 809, 609, and they're catching the rotation of that thing. And then they decide, well, and I think that's what they got confused is okay, is that Pan Stars? And that 2209, see they're back, because that's the end of the day. So we go back to the beginning, and then we go through time. And then they decided, well, is that pan stars? It can't be pan stars. It's up by Saturn. Then they went, they went, went to 360 degrees or 180, whatever they swiveled. And they went over and looked at this other side, the back side of the sun on the same ahead camera. And as you can see, you get a halo, so we, it's hard to tell what is the sun and what is pan stars because pan stars are so bright. Okay, so then you get a shot of Venus and Jupiter and Mars right there. And then we just keep going on the clock. 1157 and they pop back across space and you've always seen them from you've, from stereo A you've always seen these two big planets that are in the middle of the shot from way the heck out okay and then we're back at Saturn and our whatever bright object that we have because this is the Sun and pan stars way up over here and then this is this bright ass object over there by Saturn because you watch the clock just watch the clock 1237 and we step and we're back at 1257 you see so when this thing is brighter than hell and it's up by Saturn and it's behind the damn solar panel okay because I can just keep going through the clock they're watching it rotate because there's really not much to see up above this horizon line I mean there is but not really any big objects and if we just keep going through the clock in the day then they went and took the look and it's like well it's not pan stars so they got something else up there because that's our object that's up it's up by Saturn and so forth right there, 1217 and so forth. Because that's that as they went away. So just keep going through the clock and you'll realize because this is the 24 hours of the clock. Starting at midnight, four in the morning, UTC, this is Zulu time. And then they rotated because they're like, what the heck's going on? So they rotate over towards the sun. They see that, get a shot of Venus, Jupiter, and so forth, and then they go back. Now there's a slight possibility that that could be pan stars there, separation from the sun and so forth. At 11.57, slight possibility that that could be pan stars up there. Okay? But as we rotate back across it really doesn't look like it it looks like factually actually that that's whatever the heck is so doggone bright that's up by Saturn ie that I've showed you back and forth here at the time 1237 to 1257 and they went through the day and then I keep going forward so and then you see that pulsating behind the solar panel so it blocks out all the light to the camera lens you see so then if we go forward they rotate away, they rotate away, they rotate over to look behind the sun, Venus, Jupiter, so forth, then they rot they keep rotating, they come back, and basically this isn't pan stars, this is the bright ass object that's up by Saturn and so forth, and then we just keep going, boom, boom, and that's our bright ass object that is he, as it gets hidden behind the solar panel up by Saturn, and that's Saturn there, okay, that's Saturn there, 
and then boom and then you go through it, it them looking at it and observing it